Good day, everyone. I thank SVC TechCon for this opportunity at the Vendor Showcase, and I'm pleased to introduce you all to the Customer Solutions Lab of Advanced Energy, which is located at Karlstein am Main in Germany. I'm one of the scientists working at this lab, and in this presentation, I would like to introduce you to the lab, its capabilities, and what we offer to our customers. We opened in the fall of 2019 with the aim, broadly speaking, as a location for exploring thin film innovations. As the name suggests, this is a customer-oriented lab location and is visioned as a location for plasma deposition research and development activities for advanced energy, as well as our customers. A short introduction, as many of you might already know, Advanced Energy is a manufacturer of power supplies and solutions for semiconductor and industrial manufacturers. At the Customer Solutions Lab here in Germany, we are involved with plasma-based thin film coatings for industrial products such as optical coatings, coatings for flat panel displays, decorative coatings, coatings for solar cells, hard coatings for electronics applications, and many, many more through our internal R&D projects. In the first phase of the lab, we have been testing our own processes and have prepared the facility for customers in such a way that we can provide a setup for dedicated system or technology testing. Customers have the possibility to, to come here and perform tests and experiments on site with our various power configurations according to their need with the assistance from scientists and engineers from AE. The lab is equipped with coaters, which are designed in such a way that different power configurations can be applied with high flexibility so that the customer can test our products and techniques and, for example, also study their implications firsthand. We can offer collaborative research or even service tests so that the customer can also come here, work with us towards their aim, and then decide for themselves the potential advantages offered by our different power supplies and configurations. All this can be, of course, done here remotely without affecting their own production facilities and downtimes. Besides this, the aim of the lab is also to bring forward the latest developments from AE, which means you can get introduced and also trained to use our new products and, of course, test it on real processes at the lab before justifying their use in your own production facilities. A further aim, in addition to our power supplies, Customers would also have the possibility to learn about the newest technologies of other products from AE that are usable in plasma processes, such as pyrometers, data analytics, etc. As I already mentioned, we are located in Karlstein am Main in Germany, which is about 40 kilometers from Frankfurt Airport. The lab location has a secure office space and a separate lab space with an analytical lab. In the following slides, I will introduce you to the infrastructure available presently. On the right, you can see a picture of an industrial sized drum coater in the lab. It has four doors, a drum with 15 carrier plates size 70 by 20 centimeters. And on one of the process doors, there are two 600 millimeter long rotary targets. Presently, one can test straight DC and pulse DC depositions at different frequency up to 150 or 350 kilohertz and bipolar pulsing up to 150 kilohertz. As the door also has an anode, one can test the new dynamic reverse pulsing mode. I'll speak a little more on these modes in the next slide. Besides this, RS sputtering and etching is also possible. Additionally, the effect of substrate biasing can be studied using either RF, DC or pulse DC modes. Besides the drum coater, we also have a generation two inline glass coater as shown in the picture here, which has different chambers offering the possibility of sputtering with either planar or rotary targets. For the plasma processes, real time in situ process monitoring will be available with optical emission spectroscopy and residual gas analyzer. We can measure temperature at different locations, either using thermocouples or pyrometers from advanced energy. With the thermocouple, one can measure temperature rise, for example, at the substrate, while with the pyrometer, we can monitor the temperature at the target surface. 
to get deeper understanding of the actual processes happening at the output of the power supplies. The voltage or current profiles can be studied with probes and oscilloscopes. Besides this, we have an in-house analytical lab where we can perform optical measurements, thickness measurements, for example, using an ellipsometer and a UVVIS spectrometer. We also have a substrate curvature measurement tool, which is useful for measuring residual stresses in the films. For more sophisticated measurements, such as, for example, uh, SEM, XRD, or Hall measurements, etc., we collaborate with research institutes here in Germany for analytical measurements. As this is a vendor innovation showcase, I would only like to highlight some of the work that is presently under research at the lab. For this, it would be useful to go over this slide, which also shows what one could, for example, achieve at the lab. As many of you already know, different modes of sputtering offer different advantages. For example, with the SMS, that is single magnetron sputtering, shown in the top figure, where one target is powered with one power supply, one could apply either a straight DC deposition mode or a pulse DC mode against an anode. Charge buildup at an electrode can lead to arcing in certain target materials, which are damaging to the growing film and the substrate. In this case, pulse mode of deposition may be helpful. The pulsing may be achieved by voltage shift from one polarity to the opposite or to zero at the target. For such periodic reversal of the voltage on the target, different parameters can be varied with our power supplies. For example, one could vary the amount of reverse voltage, the duty cycle, the frequency, etc. These parameters have an influence on the film prop properties and the quality in terms of density, composition, the transparency, film strength, roughness, etc. The second mode named as DMS or dual magnetron sputtering is shown in the bottom left image. In case of reactive sputtering of compound layers, such as dielectrics, for example, films like silicon oxide, silicon nitride, titanium oxide, aluminum oxide, etc. DMS is the often used mode of sputtering. And this is because when sputtering dielectrics, the insulating material also gets deposited on the anode, which results in the disappearing anode effect and also particle generation. To avoid this, instead of using an explicit anode in the system, two targets could be used where each magnetron alternates role as cathode and anode by using a bipolar pulse power supply. Again here, varying the pulsing frequency can offer added benefits to the coating property. Another mode of deposition is as shown in the bottom right figure. This is the dynamic reverse pulsing or DRP mode. In this case, two targets receive synchronized power, alternating with an explicit anode instead of with each other. Power to the anode helps to keep the anode clean. By varying the duty cycle, the deposition rates can be influenced, and at the same time, lower substrate heating may be achieved as compared to the DMS mode. These different modes were tested at the lab, for example, as shown here on titanium oxide targets. For this work, we used the SN DMS AP power supplies and tried three modes, straight DC, bipolar pulsed DMS, and the DRP mode. As can be seen in the plot below, for the power normalized deposition rate as a function of oxygen flow, the DRP mode and the straight DC mode led to higher rates as compared to the DMS mode. On the right are the SEM images of the films deposited by DC and DRP modes. Interestingly, one can see that the microstructure of the films differ for the two modes, even though the deposition rates and the substrate temperature were quite similar. While in the case of DC sputtering up here, the films were composed of small grains stacked over each other. In case of DRP depositions shown below, the grains grow columnar and span almost the entire film thickness. Interestingly, the DRP films also had a higher density. Another study involved the deposition of indium tin oxide or ITO with different power supplies in straight DC and pulse DC modes to study the differences in the film properties. 
Arcing is a major issue in ITO depositions that directly hamper the film properties. And a comparative study of the actual arc treatment behavior of the different power supplies and the arc energies provide more insights into the differences. So this was the aim of this work. In this slide, I would like to show you the use of another product from AE called Power Insights, which is present at the lab for process monitoring. This tool basically showcases real-time process data that is recorded from the power supplies. For example, we have been using it to follow arcing processes during our tests. One could, for instance, use it to follow the variation of process voltage or current and monitor time-dependent variations in process parameters, also over several days and months. It has a range of other visualizations and analytics that are customizable. These capabilities of the PI tool helps in rapid diagnostics, detect anomalies in power delivery, but also provides predictive analytics to drive tool maintenance and thereby reduce downtimes. Finally, the newest addition to the lab is the HyPIM setup to the drum coater. So besides the dual magnetron process door, the drum coater is also presently being equipped with a HyPIM setup. This will be a dual magnetron system again. With this added capability, we plan to study different coating materials used in, for example, decorative and hard coatings, where HyPIM's films have been shown to exhibit improved quality and durability in the recent years as compared to films deposited by low powered magnetron sputtering. The setup will be available for use by early summer this year. With this overview to our customer solutions lab, the team of researchers and the application engineers look forward to welcoming you to access our products and expertise in the field of plasma technologies. Our contact details are shown here on the screen. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and have a nice day.